Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to replace brake pads on a pedal electric. Uh, we have, you're going to need pliers and a 5mm allen wrench for this. First step, it's going to come back here, you see this uh, pin, this holds the brake pads in place. Uh, just straight this end down. It's a little complicated at first, but what you need to do is straight, straight it. No, no, it's so straight. Once you have it like that, you can pull from this end out. So now this release the brake pads from the caliper. Then next step will be remove these two screws from the frame. Once you remove those two, you're gonna be able to pull these out. And you can push the pads from the top of the caliper. Just push it down. As you see, the brake pads came down here. Then now you just pull it out from the caliper. You see these brake pads are very worn out. So you can tell the pad is minimum. So we better replace them. So I have another set of brake pads here. These are Tektro and they are compatible for this brake from Pedal Electric. Any of the models we have, it's about the same. There's a, a link on the description of this video. They show where to get these pads at. So this is the difference. A new pad versus the old pads. So then next up, you're gonna reuse the metal piece that comes through the old brake pads. Attached to that. Uh, one of the recommendations, never touch the brake pad with your fingers from here because it could contaminate the pad and make the brakes don't stop or also make it a lot of noise when you install them and brake. Okay, once you have it together, it's like a little spring, a piece of metal. Let's put it back in place. What I do, I just try to squeeze from the back a little and just push it in from here. Oh, one of the other part of the installation I would recommend just because these brand new pads, they have the pistons coming out just because the pads are a little smaller than used to be. So you just use a flat hair or whatever you can use for this pushing the pistons inside back. This is gonna allow you to insert easier the brake pads, the new ones, as hard as possible. Do it. Let's 
should be all the way in. You have to push both at the same time in order to make it straight. Then once you have it in, you can put the pin back on top. And make sure you bend this one back just to hold this brake pad someplace. Just like that. As you see, I just bend it up one of the sides, which is the longer piece. So you bend it out and it won't come out. Then once you do that, you will notice that the brake pads are closer now. So I will suggest to use a flathead in between the pads, just like this and open it up a little you see a little bit more room in here then just slide it into the disc and align the holes for the screws and you can do the same process for front and rear brakes Let's put this back Place and just tighten. That's it. You're set.